Just want to do another quick review of uh, these two holsters. Just kind of compare and contrast them, talk about them a little bit. So tier one concealed, uh, this is the Axis Elite TXC. I don't remember the specific model, but it's the comparable one, you know, the little flex thing, sidecar holster, all that. Uh, let me start with tier one here, get this out of the way. So tier one concealed, I'm sure most of you know or have heard of them in some capacity. Um, these are my personal favorite appendix holsters. Um, I don't, I, I think it's a, a fair argument to say that they work better than everything else. Um, the Kydex, it's thick, it's rigid, it's sturdy. It doesn't really wear, it doesn't flex. Um, it doesn't get soft in the heat, which sounds dumb, but, uh, I live in Phoenix and when it's 120, your gun gets hot. This thing gets hot. It doesn't really get soft. Like I have had that issue with other holsters. This one doesn't do that. The hardware is top notch. It never seems to come loose. The bungee cord is stood up over a long period of time. The adjustability of this thing is phenomenal. Like you can change all of your ride height like a ton. Like you can change it. There's like five or six different ways. You can slide these things up and down, this up and down. You can change the stack height on the claw. Like you really can kind of fit this to how you want it to be which is great because not everyone's body is the same, not everyone wears their pants at the same height, not everything is gonna be the same for every individual. So having that adjustability is, is great. It's such a huge selling point for them uh, that I think is kind of understated. But the fit, the function, the form, everything on these tier one holsters is, you know, top notch. Doesn't really get much better than this in my opinion. I've tried a lot of other holsters, McKinnitech, Gerber, a bunch of stuff. Um, Tier one definitely is still my favorite. Um, the most recent one and holster I've been carrying for probably the past, let's say eight months now, something like that, uh, would be this guy from TXC. Um, I got it at, so they're having some sale or something. So I just figured I'd pick it up and give it a shot. So they had good reviews. Uh, it works, you know, it's, it's not falling apart totally yet, <laughs> um, but I'm not really the biggest fan of this so far the way they have their bungee system set up off this wave pattern here uh, it it sucks like there's not really a nice way to put it it sucks it constantly pulls itself away pulls out this thing sits all goofy it slides underneath it doesn't sit flat it doesn't sit together like this does it's like how this it's always in the same spot so the idea is that this gives you more flex and play and you can keep it closer together and blah 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 but it doesn't really give you any more. Like you can still flex this thing all the same as you can the other one, but it sits in a uniform position. So you're never losing that consistent position of your magazine or this isn't turning all funky on your belt. Um, it's also wider than the tier one, even though I think the this intention of this design is to have it more narrow. It is actually wider. It sticks out about an inch or so farther um which whatever that's fine the clip position isn't too different it still fits between your first two belt buckles typically sorry not belt buckles belt loops um like i've not ever had pants that this didn't fit in the uh claw is not really super adjustable the ride height is you can get a little bit out of it but it's not terribly adjustable um it's kind of just what you get is what you get the uh, one thing that I found to be quite weird is how vertical the magazine carrier is. So what I mean by that is when this is sitting here, the magazine is almost straight up and down uh, versus if you look at a tier one, they have it canted. So it sits instead of straight up and down, it kind of sits off to the side, which is great. It's way more comfortable, first of all. It doesn't dig into your stomach. Um, which people are like, well, why do you have such a big magazine? It doesn't matter the height of the magazine. A standard 15 round flush fit magazine for a Glock 19 would do the same because it's sticking straight up into you. Um, it's also easier to draw out of this because of that angle. It kind of lines up with the ergonomics of your wrist when you're scooping it out of there to reload. Just a little bit better. This design's just kind of strange. Um, it's the Kydex itself is... It seems like it's the same thickness, maybe like a mil or two skinnier um, than tier one, but it's super flimsy, like very, very flimsy. Um, if I leave this in the heat at all, like on my tailgate at the range, or if I leave it in my truck for some reason, like I gotta go into 
a federal building where I can't have a firearm. Um, when I come back out in the summer, this thing is like squishy soft just from sitting in the truck for 40 minutes. Um, never had an issue with this. Right away I had issues with this and it actually changes the overall fit. Like I've had to over tighten basically everything at this point to have this maintain any type of retention. And I know it's not active retention, there's no button, but if I were to just turn this upside down, my gun would fall out um, after it been sitting in the heat, which is not, not okay. It's not good. <laughs> um, but I, I don't wanna, you know, just sit here and bad mouth this holster because it does work, it does work well. It is less expensive than the tier one. And at the time I purchased this, their lead times were shorter, which I know that's a big deal for a lot of people. People don't want to wait two months to get a holster in. You know, they want to use it now. This is America. We want what we want, and we want it now. <laughs> um, but in my opinion, it's well worth it to wait. Spend an extra 30 bucks, wait the time, get it to your own holster. It, it's not going to let you down. It's not going to break. It's not going to fall apart. They're totally adjustable. It's not going to be something where like, oh, you know, I don't quite like how high or how low this sits on my belt line. You can change it yourself. Whereas this, you're stuck with what you got. Um, yeah, tier one. TXC, you know, not bad. Not the worst. There's definitely way worse holsters out there. Uh, but tier one is kind of the uh, gold standard, in my opinion. Like These are what I believe you should go with.